Okay guys, back with another quick video. Um, this one's a lot more nerdy and not necessarily people were going to be really interested in, but for people that actually want to customize their home environment a little bit in the Pico, um, Lee Rose just figured this one out. Originally I wanted to import 360 photos because I knew it was a 360 photo that you look at. Um, turns out it's a cube map. So Lee Rose managed to find some, some magic tools that make this work and also ND on the Discord as well has found something that's incredibly simple to use. Um, so what I'm going to do is cover how to basically get your own skybox or sort of surround environment into your Pico home environment. So if I can close the Discord here, what I'm going to do is go over the basics you're going to need. So first of all, there's a program I'm going to link in the description. It's Lero's um, Dropbox link. Basically, it's Asset Bundle Extractor. And you're going to need this to take the files from your headset and sort of tweak them and play around with them. So what we're going to do, um, if you connect up your Pico headset, so I'm just going to go into my PC, Pico Neo Free Link, internal storage, and we're going to go into pre-resource. And then we're going to do scene and default scene, for example. Um, you could do your cyber room as well. It'd be the same uh, sort of stages, but we're going to use default scenes example. You can choose any one of these to edit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use 007 um, as the example here. I'm not going to bother with the thumbnail. Um, so it, it will still show the original thumbnail in your uh, scene selector. But we're just going to take this file, copy it to your actual um, drive somewhere. So I've just copied it onto my main PC so we're not working from the headset itself. Um, and what we're going to do is basically use this asset bundle tool. So we're going to go to File, Open. I'm going to go back to Pico Skyboxes. I'm going to open this one, which is the one that I've transferred from the headset. And this is going to bring up that internal file here. So what we're going to do is go into... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, we've got to wait for the thread. Right. Okay, now we're ready. Right, so what we've got to do is wait for the computer to figure itself out. Um, it loads all the assets in here. Um, when you go into the assets here, you can see the skybox files that you're looking for. So these are up, left, right, down, forward... So this will make more sense in a second. If you want to see how to get your photos to line up, um, so you can sort of match them, I will show you in the um, in the folder here that I've got, Skyboxes. So I've already saved these. So this is as they come off the headset, so you can make sense of how to name and import your files back in. So down is obviously a downwards view. If you, if you look at it, it's in a 360 sense. Um, left is going to be from the left origin. Um, so you've got left, right, up, down, and then behind you. And then front, front on. So again, with a 360 photo, this is nice and easy because you get six points for a cube map, but a normal photo, you'll probably end up only having four. Um, so what we're going to do is basically go into this asset bundle tool. Um, for you to actually export those to figure out how they look, you click on this, just any one that you want will do. Uh, you go to plugins and export to PNG. So that's obviously the, this is the up. So this is going to be the view of the sky. Um, so you do that for all of the files that you need and basically you can make sense of what these mean in relation to where you want to position your photo. So what I'm going to do now is basically go over the the website that I used. Um, it's what ND linked. It's really, really helpful. So this, I'll link in the description. It's basically a panorama photo to a cube map. Um, this will work for sort of your flat images, but it does work better for the panorama stuff. So what I'm going to do is just go choose file, um, I've got something from sort of a holiday picture here. I've, I have a 360 camera. Um, this is already stitched. I believe you can do it without stitch, but I'm just going to use this as an example. If I import this photo here, what it does, it takes that and breaks it up into separate photos that I can then re-import into that file and sort of overwrite the, uh, the pictures that it's expecting to see. So this will change the picture in the headset. So this website, obviously this just breaks it all down for you. What you're going to need to do, it just says click on each cube to save it to your computer. So that's going to be sky, that, 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 and that's all done. So that's all my files. Um, I don't know where they've saved them there, but I've got them on, on here at least anyway. So these are the files that are spat out. Um, in my case, I know I want my front words to be a blue boathouse. It's basically from one of my... Uh, when I went traveling over Perth. So it's going to be the front. That's what I want my front to be. So everything else 
I know what the photo looks like, so I know this is going to be the right side. I know that's behind it. That's the floor because it's decking. Left side, and then I've got the sky. So that's my six points here. So basically all you do is you've got these files now. You would go back into your asset bundle extractor. And what you're going to need to do is basically say, right, I need to change the one that says right. You're going to go to plugins, edit, and then load. And then the right side of mine is this one. Again, you can rename these if you want to make it easier for yourself. I just, I'm just going off the visuals on my picture. So this is going to be the right side. Double click that. Click OK. Sometimes it might load. Um, so I'm just going to go through these and show you. So I've done the right. Going to go for the left one here. OK. Up. This is going to be the sky. Down. Which is obviously going to be the floor. This is where it gets interesting. I've personally left this on slow. Um, I think down and forward, uh, well, down, forward, and directly behind you, um, I think it just prioritizes quality. So you you can select different options here. This is a 32-bit um, 32 32-bit app, and it is single-threaded. So if I click slow, it's going to be very, very slow. So I'm just going to click fast here and see what my 700K makes of this. So right, that was done. Clicking on slow, it gives your CPU a workout. Um, but again, I have no idea how that translates, so I've personally left this on slow when I'm when I'm doing it for my headset. So right, I've got a few more to do here, so I'm just going to go to plugins again. That's the front. I need to go to edit, load, choose the front, which is the boathouse. Okay, and again, it's asking me what quality setting I want on this. Slow is obviously going to be better, and I've got the back one, and then that should be it. So if I go into plugins, load. Select the back one. Okay. So this is all done. So what you're going to need to do here is go up to file. Uh, you can just apply it, but I'm just going to go apply and save all. And what I'm going to do is cheat a little bit here. I'm going to select that file. So I've got the file name because you're going to need to keep the same file name. But what I'm going to do is save it somewhere different. So you still need to overwrite this file name. Keep it exactly the same. No sort of extensions. Um, I'm just going to put... I'll put into this triad new. I did try rename and see if I could add more environments. It didn't really work. So the Skybox 07 is going to be a new one. I'm just going to click save. It might do some funky stuff here, but as long as it says ready, I presume we're all good to go. So I'm going to go back into Skybox here. This is the, the headset one. I'm going to cut this and make a backup from the one that's on the headset. Um, so I'll just put that into here just for the time being. And the one that I want to put back onto the headset is the one that I just saved. So that is this one. I'll just cut that, put that back into the headset. And then that's it, you're good to go. So now when you go back into your headset and you go to the scene selector, um, at least on the default scene anyway, you've got your skybox that has come up. Um, you should have seven options on this default. Um, I believe it's sort of a space, it's not a space station, I don't think, I don't, I don't know what the name is, but um, when you have your selections there, um, when you select number seven, that's going to be your custom photo. So it's pretty cool. I'll finish the video off of how that looks as well and how you can rotate it sort of in, inside your environment. Um, yeah, just a nice little tip. Really, really cool. Um, really thankful to Lero for figuring this out because I sort of started and gave up. And then Endy's obviously found the website that just makes this super simple. Um, to take my existing 360 photos and make it a cube map. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in making your home environment a bit different, definitely give it a go. Cheers, guys.